Fuel Cure for Vehicle Service Workshops. Private vehicle owners, vehicle fleet owners, motor dealerships, private service workshops. Today, modern engine technology demands clean fuel and clean fuel systems for optimum performance and efficiency. In order to ensure that our clients are benefiting from clean fuel and are protected against poor fuel quality, water, sludge, and other contamination in fuel, particularly with the introduction of biodiesel blends, Worth have introduced a fuel decontaminant and fuel system cleaner called Fuel Cure. As we know, fuel systems gum up over time, which not only negatively affects the performance of engines, but also the fuel consumption, exhaust emissions, and eventually maintenance and downtime. Often, vehicle owners aren't aware as to why this natural process of resin separation, also known as gumming or waxing, occurs. It occurs due to moisture or water contamination, particularly in diesel fuel. Moisture in fuel occurs primarily as a result of condensation in tanks, as well as contamination of bulk storage facilities and even water vapor entering tanks through breathers. The problem with water or moisture content is that not only is it corrosive and extremely abrasive on fuel system components such as pumps and injectors, but it is also chemically active. This chemical reaction between moisture and sulfur in diesel causes acid to build up, which leads to the gumming of pumps, filters, injectors, and the entire fuel system. Due to the fact that a small amount of moisture content always exists in diesel fuel and is not easily removed, this gumming process is not only natural, but is also proven to be unavoidable to date. In these demonstrations, we will show how fuel cure not only completely prevents the gumming process from occurring, and maintains fuel quality in optimum condition, but also how fuel cure completely dissolves gum, resin or dirt deposits and cleans fuel systems where contamination already exists. We will also show how fuel cure deals with water contamination in fuel, allowing it to pass safely through the fuel system without causing damage to pumps and injectors, protecting equipment from the harmful effects of water or moisture contamination. For this demonstration, we have two samples of low sulfur diesel. In order to recreate and speed up the natural gumming process which occurs in fuel tanks and fuel systems over time, and which is responsible for the degradation of the fuel itself, we'll add a few drops of sulfuric acid to both samples. Before adding the sulfuric acid to each sample, however, we'll treat one sample with fuel cure. A 330ml tin of fuel cure like this one will treat up to 100 litres of diesel or petrol making it very cost effective. As we add the acid to both samples, bear in mind that one would not normally add the sulfuric acid to fuel. However, acid does occur naturally in fuel as a result of moisture content. We are simply adding sulfuric acid to these samples in order to speed up the natural gumming process for demonstration purposes. As I begin agitating the two samples, one can see almost immediately that the untreated sample begins to darken, discolor, and deteriorate. As I continue, the untreated sample will darken further, while gum and sludge will start to coat the inside surface of the test tube, replicating the process which occurs naturally over time in fuel, fuel tanks, and throughout the fuel system. This coating of gum and sludge has a direct negative impact on fuel usage, performance, and harmful environmental emissions produced. These visible sludge deposits not only provide a food source for bacteria and algae, but are also capable of blocking fuel filters, which can lead to costly maintenance and repairs. Note that the sample which was treated with fuel cure has remained completely unaffected by the acid and has retained its natural color, demonstrating how fuel cure prevents acid buildup and completely neutralizes existing acid and moisture, maintaining optimum fuel quality and fuel system cleanliness. In order to demonstrate the effectiveness of fuel cure where this contamination already exists, we'll now treat our contaminated sample, which, as you can see, has deteriorated quite dramatically. As I agitate this test tube, it's easy to see how almost immediately the resin, gum, and sludge deposits begin to dissolve back into the fuel, restoring the fuel to its natural color and optimum condition. By using fuel cure at every service interval, the same preventative and cleaning processes are replicated in your vehicle's fuel tanks and fuel systems. Fuel companies the world over tell us that clean fuel passing through a clean fuel system is far more efficient, reducing fuel consumption, harmful environmental emissions, 
maintenance costs and downtime, while increasing the life of engines and fuel system components. As we've already discussed, water contamination occurs by a number of means, but most often as a result of condensation, either in bulk fuel storage tanks or in vehicle fuel tanks. It also exists in two forms, the first being free water, which typically settles at the bottom of tanks and which is easily dealt with by means of water traps, filters and separators fitted to most vehicles. Suspended water content, which is the other form of water contamination in fuel, exists in suspension, particularly in all diesel fuel, in varying quantities. It is therefore far more difficult to deal with as it bypasses traps, filters and separators and can normally only be removed by disposing of the fuel itself, which is very costly. We have already discussed and demonstrated how moisture is chemically active and the cause of acid buildup in fuel. However, over and above that, water content is also extremely corrosive and also abrasive. In fact, certain industries use high pressure water cutters to safely and efficiently cut through steel, highlighting the abrasive properties of water. By applying this principle to a fuel injection system, it's easy to imagine the detrimental wear and tear effect that moisture or water content has on modern pump and injection systems. All fuel has a certain amount of moisture content which cannot be physically removed other than by disposing of the fuel itself. This moisture contamination continuously passes through the fuel system causing wear and tear. The safest and most efficient way of dealing with the problem of moisture content in fuel would be to treat the moisture content so as to convert it from a fluid which is extremely harmful into a fluid which is more compatible with engine equipment and fuel system components. This would allow to pass through the fuel system safely without causing damage, thereby extending the life of fuel system components. Moisture contamination therefore needs to be converted into a fluid which like diesel fuel both lubricates and combusts. In the fuel system, these are the two primary functions of diesel fuel. For this demonstration, I'll be using free water to demonstrate how fuel cure deals with moisture content in fuel. Many products on the market claim to deal with acidic condensation or moisture content. This claim, however, can easily be tested by simply adding a sample of these products to free water, as we are doing here. The result will be a clear separation between the product and the water, proving that more often than not, these products have little beneficial effect, if any at all, on water or moisture content. In fact, agitating this product water mixture will often result in the fluid turning a milky white in color before eventually separating out again, proving that these products also tend to contain degreases or emulsifiers, which one certainly wouldn't want added to one's fuel. Following the same process using fuel cure, we can see from this demonstration that when fuel cure is added to water, there is no separation at all between the two fluids. Treating water with fuel cure has resulted in the formation of a new fluid. By dipping this paper into the fluid and lighting it, we see that this new fluid is also combustible, demonstrating that fuel cure converts moisture content in fuel into a fluid which both lubricates and combusts, removing the negative effects of water on fuel and equipment and providing all-round protection against poor fuel quality. This new fluid is also non-corrosive and unlike water, bacterial microbes cannot exist in this new fluid, preventing the problem of bacterial contamination from occurring in fuel. Fuel cure is not a biocide, but where bacterial contamination already exists, converting the water has the effect of removing the habitat of the microbes which will eliminate the existing bacterial contamination. In addition, by dissolving resins or gums, fuel cure also removes a key food source for bacterial microbes. As we have seen from these demonstrations, fuel cure is a preventative maintenance product used to protect vehicles against poor fuel quality and moisture contamination in fuel. In addition, where fuel systems have become contaminated, impacting negatively on fuel usage, performance and exhaust emissions, Treating with fuel cure will restore fuel systems to optimum cleanliness and condition. This product should therefore be used at every service interval by making fuel cure part of every service kit. Lastly, fuel cure has been tested against global fuel specifications for both diesel and petrol. In all cases, fuel samples treated with fuel cure were found to comply with fuel specifications, providing a guarantee of safety when using this product, as well as an assurance that vehicle warranties cannot be invalidated as the result of using this product.